the sticks, whatever you want to call it. Seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. Another carry now for Gurley. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On first down, it's Gurley. Oh, another spin. Hard to him up when he does that. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Well, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Yeah, that was a safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. We see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Two yards gets them back to where they started, but now third and ten. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. From the gun on third down, gone. That one's complete to Gurley. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I mean, and he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Todd Gurley with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Rams add on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue. comes a 20th carry for Gurley. Oh, and now some space to operate. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Gurley looking for a repeat of his 2017 performance. He's off to a good start as the Rams come up first and 10. Gurley again here on first down. And oh, he spins past him and into space. Touchdown, L.A. Todd Gurley, 62 yards. And the Rams add on to their lead. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, the, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. <laughs> 